mid upper arm circumference, or MUAC, is an important anthropometric measurement that can be helpful in identifying children who are at nutritional risk. We're going to help you make it up to the mid upper arm circumference. Mid upper arm circumference is measured using a non stretchable tape, such as this one, which has markings to indicate the child's measurement. Mid upper arm circumference is another important way to assess a child's growth. Measuring MUAC, just like height and weight measures, can indicate whether a child is in a normal anthropometric range for his or her age. Interpreting the MUAC by using Z scores, standard deviation above or below the mean measurement for the child's age, can be just as sensitive as body mass index, BMI, for assessing growth in children. Your mid upper arm circumference Z score tapes will arrive as a set containing one two sided tape for children 2 to 59 months and one two sided tape for children 5 to 18 years of age. Familiarize yourself with the key that orients you to the correct age group. The colors indicating the associated Z score green for one standard deviation difference, yellow for between one and two standard deviations difference orange for two to three standard deviations, and red for three to four standard deviations. Also note the markings, hash colors for negative Z-score values, and solid colors for positive Z-score values. To measure, slide the tail end of the tape into slit A, and back out through slit B to create a loop. Note that the two green arrowheads Mark the place where you read the patient's MUAC and associated Z-score. Now for the measurement, which is conducted the same way for all ages. Identify the midpoint of the upper arm between the acromion and the olecranon process. Feel for the acromion at the top of the arm where the scapula meets the shoulder joint. Then look for the olecranon process at the elbow. You can also use the ruler on the device to measure and take note of the midpoint. Now, measure the length between these bony landmarks and mark the midpoint between them with a pen or skin marker if needed. Next, have the child relax their arm straight by their side. Slide the loop of the device up to the midpoint. Ensure to fully extend the elbow so that the arm is straight before measuring. Once at the upper arm midpoint, hold the tail end of the tape until it is snug but does not compress the skin. The tension of the tape should not be too snug or too loose. Identify the color band corresponding to the age of the patient. In this example, the MUAC is 18 centimeters. Note the reading within the nearest 0.1 centimeter or one millimeter and the corresponding Z-score, color, and pattern. Record the measure in the patient's chart, including the arm used, the measurement in centimeters, and the corresponding Z-score. You may encounter several differences when identifying landmarks and finding the midpoint on an infant. Firmer palpation may be required to identify the acromion process. The length of the infant's upper arm may be too short to identify a midpoint on the tape. If this occurs, simply fold the tape in half and mark the arm at the halfway point. Continue with the same process as an older child. The tape is to be made into a loop by inserting the tail end of the tape through the tabs. The arm hangs loosely and the tape is pulled snugly so that it sits atop the mark made for the midpoint. For future measurements, always use the same arm. Mid-upper arm circumference measurement and the corresponding Z-score can help you identify children at risk for nutrition or growth issues and can help determine if appropriate nutrition intervention is needed for your patients.